Is time travel possible? The short answer is yes. It is generally understood that traveling forward or back in time would require a device, a time machine that would take you there. Time machine research often involves bending spacetime so far that timelines turn back on themselves to form a loop, technically known as a closed timelike curve. Countless science fiction tales have explored the paradox of what would happen if you went back in time and did something in the past that endangered the future. Perhaps one of the most famous example is in Back to the Future movie, when Marty McFly goes back in time and accidentally stops his parents from meeting, putting his own existence in jeopardy. Although humans can't hop into a time machine yet and go back in time, we do know that clocks on airplanes and satellites travel at a different speed than those on Earth. NASA's space telescopes also give us a way to look back in time. Telescopes help us see stars and galaxies that are very far away. It takes a long time for the light from faraway galaxies to reach us. So, when we look into the sky with a telescope, we are seeing what those stars and galaxies look like a very long time ago. However, when we think of the phrase time travel, we are usually thinking of traveling nearly speed of light. While time travel does not appear possible in the sense that the physics that we use today, the field is constantly changing. Advances in quantum theories could perhaps provide some understanding of how to overcome time travel paradoxes. How do we know that time travel is possible? More than 100 years ago, a famous scientist named Albert Einstein came up with an idea about how time works. He called it relativity. This theory says that time and space are linked together. Einstein also said our universe has a speed limit, nothing can travel faster than the speed of light, 186,000 miles per second. What does this mean for time travel? Well, according to this theory, the faster you travel, the slower you experience time. Scientists have done some experiments to show that this is true. For example, there was an experiment that used two clocks set to the exact same time. One clock stayed on Earth, while the other flew in an airplane, going in the same direction Earth rotates. After the airplane flew around the world, scientists compared the two clocks. The clock on the fast-moving airplane was slightly behind the clock on the ground. So, the clock on the airplane was traveling slightly slower in time. Can we use time travel in everyday life? We can't use a time machine to travel hundreds of years into the past or future yet. But the math of time travel does affect the things we use every day. For example, we use GPS satellites to help us figure out how to get to new places. NASA scientists also use a high-accuracy version of GPS to keep track of where satellites are in space. But did you know that GPS relies on time travel calculations to help you get around town? GPS satellites orbit around Earth very quickly at about 14,000 kilometers per hour. This slows down GPS satellite clocks by a small fraction. Here's how. Einstein's theory also says that gravity curves space and time, causing the passage of time to slow down. High up where the satellites orbit, Earth's gravity is much weaker. This causes the clocks on GPS satellites to run faster than clocks on the ground. The combined result is that the clocks on GPS satellites experience time at a rate slightly faster. If scientists didn't correct the GPS clocks, there would be big problems. GPS satellites wouldn't be able to correctly calculate their position or yours. The errors would add up to a few miles each day, which is a big deal. GPS maps might think your home is nowhere near where it actually is. Yes, time travel is indeed a real thing. But it's not quite what you've probably seen in the movies yet. Under certain conditions, it is possible to experience time passing at a different rate and there are important reasons why we need to understand this real-world form of time travel. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching, I will see you in the next video.